And as I mentioned before, xie is part of xie xie ni. In this lesson, we will continue to learn the initials and finals, and I will introduce the neutral tone in Chinese. Also, we will learn some uh, basic rules of pinyin. In the end, we also have some conversations. Let's look at the initials first. This is zhi, zhi, and chi, chi. This is shi, shi. To speak this zhi, it's like the English word jeep. The beginning of jeep is like the initial zhi. And this chi, the beginning of the English word cheese, is like chi. And also this shi is like the beginning of the English word sheep. Zhi. Chi, shi. This is ru, ru. It's like right in the beginning, and you you will notice that these four initials I said just now always have a ru sound in the end. This is zi. Z and s s. This is s s. To pronounce this z, you can just say the English word zero. The beginning of zero is like z, and this s. You can pronounce cats first, and the end of cats is like this s. Also, this s s. Hmm. I think this s is more common in English, so I will leave this. Let's learn some finals. We have. W and u together. W, w. And this e and w and u together, we have u, u. We speak like e plus w plus u, but when we write, we write like this. E and U together. This is A and No, An, An. Put E and An together. We have Yan, Yan. Put U and An together. We have One, One. This is U. And N together we have, yuan, yuan. U and N together we have, n, n. And if you say n in a conversation, it means yes or okay. If someone say、uh, something to you and you said n. You prove that you agree with him. This is e and n. We have yin, yin, u and e and n together. We have wen, wen. Also, when we write wen, we write like this, u and n together. But we speak like u. I u、uh, and n. This is u and n together. We have yun, 
晕。This is on on. Actually, it's a、uh, kind of like the English word on, but、um, it is more it is stronger on on. Put e and on together, we have yang. Yang and u and all together we have yang yang. This is on on, and this is yung yung. You can see this, uh, n and g has an on sound. So if we put e and on together, we have on. This is won. Won. And this is w and on together, we have on. On. This is e and on on together. We have yong yong. Hmm. Because this is a little difficult, I will read for you again. Okay, I will. I will read all of this again. O. Yo. An. Yan, Wan, Yuan, En, Yin, Yun, Wen. Sorry, Wen, Yun, Ang, Yang, Wang, En, Yun, Wen. On, yong. Hmm. It may seem the same for you, but actually it makes a difference. And、um, you can just practice more. So maybe later on you will find the difference between these finals. Actually, these things are very、uh, difficult for foreign learners. So you can just practice more and don't、uh, do not in a hurry. That want to、uh, learn all of this、um, at one time. Okay, let's have some practice. We put s and a together plus the first tone. We have san, san, and san means three in Chinese. This is. Shan, shan. And this is cai, cai. This is zhong, zhong. Ren, ren. 人 means person in Chinese, and this is 云云 This is 热热阳阳床。床，熊，熊，星，星，圆，圆。And this is 船，船，鸡蛋，鸡蛋。
司机，司机，足球，足球。Let's learn something about the neutral tone. Actually, the neutral tone is very different from the other four tones. It is light and short. For example, "mama, mama, mama" is also the Chinese word of mother. This is "爷爷." Yeah, yeah. So we can feel it is not as strong as the other four tones. And this, 奶奶，奶奶。When the neutral tone speaks after the third tone, you can feel that this neutral tone is a little higher. 奶奶，奶奶。And also, this picture shows clearly. 爸爸，爸爸，爸爸 also means father. Let's have some practice.、Uh, I will read it for you, and you can just pay attention to this neutral tone. 桌子，桌子。房子，房子，我们，我们，我们 means we or us. Hmm. Hmm, it's broken. It's okay. So, can you have a guess? Uh, what "wo" means? If "wo" means we or us? Yeah, "wo" means I or me. This is 喜欢，喜欢 And this 先生，先生，朋友，朋友，认识，认识。晚上，晚上，漂亮。漂亮。Here is another row. Tone marks in Chinese pinyin are put above vowels, and the tone should be marked on the one that is pronounced with the mouth more wide open. Normally, the sequence is being a, u, e, i. U, U, in the descending order. For example, we put、uh, the first tone on that ya, and you can see the first tone is on that a, and this, the second tone plus u, we put the the tone mark on this u. And this, the third tone plus c, we put the third tone on this u、uh、sound. And the last one is the only exception, because as I、uh, as I mentioned before, that u that final u is kind of a、uh, abbreviation of this e and u and u. So if we put the mark, we、uh, normally we have to put this mark on the wall, but actually that wall is leave out. So we just put this 
uh, the first tone mark on this. Wu. So in conclusion, to uh, write a pinyin correctly, you just need to remember that uh, the tone mark is follow the sequence a wu e i wu yu, and only one exception is this u. We put the tone mark on the wu. Mm, I will read this for you, and you can pay attention to the uh, the tone marks. Xue Xiao Nu Er Lan Xiu Gong Si Bang Ma Yo Yo Shou Bia Zhong Yu And pay attention to this one. It looks a little different from other pinyin. It's because of uh this the pin uh the pinyin of this act uh this character actually it doesn't have uh the initial and it only have this uh final and the tone mark. So to uh to distinguish it we just use um this mark in the middle between the uh the two um, pinyin Uh, this is what I have mentioned before. One, uh, one e and u and u and this, these three things follows an initial. They are written like uh, as their abbreviation e and u and and um, these three things. Let's just look at those examples. 休息休息 Actually, when we, uh, when we read it, we still read like, uh, this E plus W plus U, but when we, uh, write it, we just leave this W. And this, 睡觉睡觉轮船轮船牛奶牛奶 Here is another conversation. 谢谢. Do you remember what 谢谢 means? Yeah, it means thanks or thank you. And if someone says 谢谢 to you, you can reply 不谢. So can you have a guess the, uh, the meaning of 不谢 Yeah, yeah, it's right. You're welcome. No thanks. Literally, it means no thanks. So this 不 means no or not. Xie Bu Thanks. You're welcome. And this Xie Ni Xie Ni means thank you. Because 
，谢谢 is thanks and 你 is you。And 不客气 means you're welcome。So actually， 谢谢不谢，谢谢你不客气 ，are the same meaning。This one is 再见。再见 means goodbye. If someone say 再见 to you, you can just reply to him or her 再见。Since you cannot speak, I will speak this for you. 谢谢。How should you reply? Yeah, 不谢 Or you can say another way. Yeah, 不客气 And if I say, should you reply? Yeah, 再见。Let's have a quick review. 谢谢 Thank you. 不客气 You're welcome. 再见 Goodbye. Okay, this lesson is over. Do you have some questions? Do you have something that you don't understand? Okay.